good morning everyone it is far too early to be vlogging right now it is what time is it 5 a.m 5 a.m <laughs> we are in the airport because we're going to dublin today so excited about this i'm with these two over here and we're in a very fancy lounge at Milton Newton Airport. It's called Number One Lounges. This was very kindly gifted to us. So we like have the champagne package press passes, which is incredible. And we have red Clico champagne. We have vegetarian breakfast on the way, like pastries, yogurt, granola. Very, very fancy here and it is so nice. I've never been to a lounge before ever. At least you have, funnily enough. And they say that I don't know if you heard her, but she said she's not going to be mean to the airport that she last went to a lounge in. Where was it? It was in Heathrow. Heathrow. And she said it wasn't very nice. Yeah. It was more like a buffet, wasn't it? Rather yeah. than like table service. Yeah. Very exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is very exclusive. But it's really cool and it's so nice because I think school holidays officially started this week and Luton Airport is heaving like at 3 30 in the morning. It's just yeah. like I cannot breathe in here. And so it's just so nice to be here and it's just a bit quieter and it's just a bit more civilized <laughs> and you can just chill. Like they've got loads of plug sockets so you can like pull out your laptop and work if you need to, have your breakfast, just hang out for as long as you need to. The only thing is we're gonna have to keep an eye out for our flight time so we don't miss it because you know. Yeah, but we're gonna crack on and have a bit of breakfast and I'll show you around in a second. Of course, Minnie Me got the same as me. <laughs> yes, it's really good. I mean, to be fair, we kind of have that on the side too. <laughs> I've been such a terrible vlogger because I keep Instagram storying. Um, like, our first stop, well, our first stop was the hotel, but I don't want to jinx it yet because we couldn't check in, we had a few issues. So we just dropped off our luggage and we've come to Pone Cafe, my favourite cafe in Dublin. I'm super, super excited just to be taking these guys here and showing them how great the menu is. Yes, I am. What's <laughs> your YouTube? Um, it's my name, Nishi B. Um, oh, I just love this place so much and it brings back so many memories as well. Like I used to sit in here with my laptop when it was like, freezing, it was snowing outside even. Um, our food has just arrived so I'll show you. Well, not now, in January, when I was here, it was snowing. <laughs> like, it was so cold, and like, I just, I was basically just um, just like, all day, just here, on my laptop. Um, but I'm just so excited to dig in. Oh, sorry, I don't want to keep you waiting. Start, start. No, 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 no. I want you to come up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess it up so badly. Like, literally, <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> Oh my god, this all looks absolutely amazing. And we all got rose, no, raspberry, mint raspberry and, and mint lemonade. They're so refreshing. <laughs> it's incredible. I'm so excited for you guys to try this. Like, I'm excited to eat it, but more excited for you guys to try it. <laughs> We're like in the middle of a heat wave. We're super hot after, not, not super hot, super hot and super full after a massive meal at Pope. So good We walked through Temple Bar, it brought back loads of memories for me. These guys went to a few vintage shops. I went to shop at Ella where, um, I'll tell you guys in a bit, it's just too hot to talk. It's just so hot. We're waiting for our taxi as well to take us back to the hotel. So let's keep an eye out for this dude. But. Woo! We're so gonna go swimming, hopefully. There's someone in there. Oh, yeah. So, we're back at the hotel. We finally just checked in. And oh my god, we haven't even stepped into the room yet. We're just coming out of the elevator. This hotel is incredible. So we're nice. staying at the Intercontinental Hotel, thanks to their dad, who is a freaking legend, um, and booked it for us. We're very excited to see our rooms. We have like 
what's that word again? I keep forgetting. Interconnecting, interconnecting rooms, <laughs> which will be fun. Yes, that's basically the plan. <laughs> you could lock me out, you know, but I should really give you ideas. Oh, right, there you go. Imagine if it's just like so shit. And we just hype this up so much. No, it won't, it won't be. be I've seen we don't know which room is which yet. We have two separate rooms as well, by the way. <laughs> Can't trust her with anything. <laughs> um, have you tried, tried it both ways? <laughs> Terrible. <gasps> oh, my oh my god. This is amazing. Dang. Look at that bathroom. Okay, we're just never leaving. Uh, where's the light? Well, why do you have to go in there? Get going out tonight, you know? Oh my, oh my god! <laughs> we should host a party here! Guys, the decor is amazing, isn't it? It's such a nice colour. Is this your room? Yeah, it's yeah. the one, because it's a cheese set. Jesus! I, know. I want to go see yours now. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Wow, hold on, hold on, let's see the view. Oh this is inc this is like insane. There's something more exciting than fruit, not <laughs> there's, there's what what in the fruit? So there was something well, more there's exciting a plant, than no? fruit, not fruit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got something free. Yeah. Is that really a and view? And this. Look, actually, oh. the view's kind of crap. That's um. The you need a view, and you've got the yeah, exactly. You need That's a got a little Juliet balcony. I mean, yeah, it's a great view. <laughs> Let's go check out this bathroom. Yeah, this room is amazing. We could have so just shared a room. Like, what the hell? No, 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 it's massive. Is this um, your room or is this? No, I don't think. Any sure? I don't think that. Oh my god. This bathroom is massive. <laughs> it's actually bigger than my room. This is bathroom. It's big enough in itself. <gasps> What's this? Oh, it's the toilet. Yeah, oh my god. This is <gasps> really. This is amazing. This is crazy. Cool. Oh, can we have like an actual. It's a bit short. We can have a bar. We can have a bar. Oh, so much what are the good compliments? Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> and that's a Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that's about that. This is so nice. It's this like, ah, oh, sewing kit, like, great. It's, so so it's like, hmm, how do we get excited about a sewing kit? <laughs> that's so cool. Damn. Have you even got a zoomie anything? <laughs> <laughs> you Oh my god, we are completely blown away by this room. anisha has gone round to my room to let us in because it's um I keep forgetting the damn word. What's it called? Interconnecting. Interconnecting, not <laughs> conjoining or whatever I keep thinking. <laughs> no, what did I say? I don't know what I said, but I can't wait to see my room. I can hear her already. <laughs> yeah, this must be our room. Oh for God's sake, they've cocked it up. Oh, is this your <laughs> Because there's only one king bed for you, no? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They've cocked it up. We have to go to You've got two king beds now. Oh, I don't mind two king beds. <laughs> this is so nice. This is so nice. But it's the same room. Yeah, it's the same room. Hey, does this just join somebody else's room as well? How many families stay here at the same time? No, that's not someone else's room. That's got a lock. They're absolutely different. What a key there. What? <laughs> No, they've got a key. That's fine. That's not a room. I can't believe that it is only quarter to three and we've literally just checked into our hotel, which is perfect timing, but we were all up at about 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning to catch our flight. So we've done really well so far. I mean, I don't know how none of us are like not tired yet. And obviously being out in the heat all day is very tiring. It's currently 30 degrees, I think. No, 25 degrees outside, so it's baking hot, we're not used to it. In fact, London has a heat wave and it's even warmer than this at home. But yeah, I think we've done really well to just sort of be out and about and like resist the urge to nap and stuff like that so far. Um, it is three o'clock, so we're gonna have a bit of downtime. I'm gonna charge up my phone because it is just dying. Unpack, check out the pool. Hopefully it's like really quiet and we can jump in the pool because I feel like we've all just sweated absolute buckets today. It is just boiling. Um, luckily the aircon in the room is working and it's not very powerful but it's good enough so I'm not really complaining and then we're just going to hang out for a bit maybe have a little nap I probably shouldn't because I'm terrible after a nap the girls might do though and I might just 
I don't know, just chill. Um, I can't really do much because we travel with just hand luggage only and it's not even proper hand luggage. It's like the Ryanair little bag that fits under the seat in front of you. So I haven't like got a laptop or a book to read or anything like that, but whatever. I'll find something to entertain myself. And then tonight we're gonna go out for dinner somewhere nice. Maybe go to a nice bar because Serena's old enough to drink and hopefully they'll let Anusha in and just have a drink or something just on our first night. <sighs> But first, I really need a coffee. I see you. Ah, <laughs> why can't you get scared like normal people? We crashed. <laughs> Have you? Uh, we just thought we'd get a few snacks in the hotel. Uh, we weren't quite anticipating this for 25 no. quid. But you know, we were a bit peckish, so hopefully these um I mean, these are off the kids' money. menu, but it was broccoli and sweet corn fritters. We had like a fifteen euro allowance like to use per day or whatever. No, per room. And so this is like twenty five quid's worth of food. It's very strange. Mm. Anyway, hopefully it tastes better than it looks. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even remember when I last vlogged, but we have literally just been hanging out in the hotel. We didn't go to the pool in the end because we were like, do you know what? We want to go out tonight. And this bar that I mentioned earlier is half price cocktails on a Tuesday night. And so we thought if we go swimming, by the time we're done and we're peckish, we're just going to miss like happy hour. And like, what is the point? Um, so we thought tomorrow is like our swimming day, tomorrow and Thursday. But now we're just getting ready. And where are the girls? Because I want to show you their makeup. I've just done both their makeup. Look at how grown up this one looks. She looks so good Just though. look at her. So this good. is I... Lady Danger by MAC, the lipstick I always wear and it looks so different on her. You should put a photo up next to it. Mm -hmm. I should yeah. and you because it actually thing. looks like a bright orange on me, like an orangey red which is actually what it is I and I always want like a matte yeah, coral. Yeah it's like a deep red kind of and pinky, it just... pinky orange. Red. Yeah, yeah it looks amazing on her. And look at Serena's makeup good. as well. She looks so good. I've filled in her brows, given her, given them both winged liner. I've Zoom added like the blusher. You've got an inner corner highlight. I mean, just how good is she at makeup? Oh, Let's yeah. all give her a round. Right. So I mean, this is what she does for a living, so it'd be kind of weird if she wasn't good at it. But. Well, yeah, that'd be terrible. <laughs> but I added the same blush that I normally wear on both of them. Because you guys don't really wear blush, do you? No, I never. Yeah, I never really used to either. And I just feel like it just adds, like when you're just wearing like foundation and like concealer, your face can look a little bit flat. And Serena has I the agree. highest cheekbones of life. Okay. Like I am so so jealous of this girl. She <laughs> needs no contour, and I've just added highlight just, just to smile. accentuate them. We just turn yeah, just smile. Cause that light. You can look at that. You can see that highlight from NASA. <laughs> turn to the side. <laughs> <laughs> you can. <laughs> Yes, such a fine I love them. I wish that ran in the bloody family, but clearly not. I have like one that's kind of high and one that's just a disappointment in my life like everything else. Which one is it? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> so, guys, we're here at Bay Street Central. Look at this beauty right I'm here. I'm sober as well. Whoa, that's too close. <laughs> we haven't had a drink yet, yeah, but here we all are. Here's me. We haven't had a drink yet. She's not happy with me. p.m. actually but Serena was really tired and well before we went out <laughs> me and Anusha had a coffee because I realized that I hadn't actually had a coffee since 5 a.m. so we, like we faffed around with the coffee machine for ages in our room trying to figure out how to work it we both had like an espresso because we used the wrong pods or something I don't really know what we did <laughs> so we had like a really strong coffee before we went out and Serena had a hot chocolate because she doesn't really drink coffee and now we're just like 
we're wide awake and Serena's gone to bed and like we're in the middle of nowhere so I mean not that we can go out because no. where am I going to take you to a club no. <laughs> she'd love to but no I mean give it a couple of years you know I won't be a granny then so you know. so we're just hanging out in my room oh you look so cute and um, we're just going to chill for a bit we bought a few snacks because we realized that this hotel really is in the middle of nowhere and there's like nothing to eat so just in case we wake up like one of us wakes up before the other or we get hungry we literally just picked up a can of coke each just for like the daytime obviously we got some like supermarkets in dublin are so expensive these aren't even mcvitties and they were two euro something like how ridiculous is that and these were four quid for a packet of freaking crisps yeah. they'd normally be a pound like in a yeah. supermarket on offer but i said to these guys they have to try them because when i was last in ireland me and jas were obsessed with these o'donnell's ballymaloo relish and cheddar cheese i love ballymaloo relish and we can buy it in the uk but only in jars and i love the squeezy yeah. bottle yeah, I picked some up from Ireland last time, but we've only got hand luggage, so I can't take that yeah. back with me, which is so annoying, but oh, oh, these are so good. Anyway, that's our little stash. We're keeping our doors unlocked so we can just like walk in and out of each other's rooms and help okay. ourselves to food or whatever and like wake each other up, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. You wouldn't believe me if Another I told you what time it is. <laughs> Sorry, I <laughs> we are going to check out the pool it is like lunchtime but luckily last night we bought some snacks for our room because we don't have hotel booked in this hotel we don't have breakfast booked in this hotel so we had some chocolate digestives and a coffee and some fruit because we didn't want to go out for breakfast and come back so we're now going to check out the pool and hopefully no one's in there and we're very excited yeah. it is like almost 1pm though <laughs> what have we done with our day yeah. such a great swim but now we are starving and it is what time is it 3 30 i've just booked a table for 5 30 at the restaurant but we luckily we bought some snacks last night look at my skin i think this is a heat rash i never really get spots and i'm completely breaking out everywhere and because we only bought hand luggage i didn't bring half of my skincare like glycolic acid or anything of that sort of rubbish and so i can't even fix this but oh i look awful anyway don't look at me mm. Look at these crisps. Bally Bally relish. We've got some coke to keep us going. Bit of fruit. <laughs> a plum that somebody was throwing around. Um, and some water and a few little bits. So yeah. Hey guys. So I don't know. I want to really get your <laughs> on this new dress that I've been wearing. So I really like it. It's really nice. You can. Okay. Sorry about that. Bit inappropriate really, isn't it? But, uh, okay, well, you know, so there's a bit of um, fit, fitting uh, difficulties at the moment, but we can always get this resized, but I really like this. Okay, everyone, I'll see you later. Bye! 
so weird walking into your guys' room because it's darker and warmer than mine. And um, we've just got ready to go out. We are finally going to have our first proper meal of the day. Are you filming? Oh, no, taking photos, sorry. Um, <laughs> so, what are you guys filming? We're, yeah, we're finally going to have our first proper meal of the day and it is coming up to 5 pm. What time is it? Um. Sorry. 5.26. What? Yeah. 5.26? Yeah. Oh my god, we're so late. Yeah, yeah. We are going to a Korean restaurant called Kimchi Hop House, which me and Jess went to like loads of times when we were last here, and they are very kindly gifting us a meal, and it's these guys' oh, first great. Korean meal! I'm so excited to be like taking them for their first Korean. It's Aww. such good food. They're bibbing back. Look how pretty for. she looks, guys. Oh, stop. Look, Look at you! Look at her. With your Mac. Uh, Lady Danger lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't remember the word. Because I'm a dangerous lady. Pow, pow, pow. <laughs> Her shorts look fabulous, so Thanks, too. guys. This one's forever 21 in case anyone wanted to know. <laughs> Our link is in the description. They were on sale. £19 reduced to... Would you do, 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 do. 10. No, 14. But good guess. Uh, not bad. Yeah. My skirt was in the sale. £20 reduced to 10. And guess you got it for her? Just! I the very first skirt very uh, very item of clothing he's ever bought for me. But more on that later. We are very late. We have to be in the restaurant in four minutes, guys. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sorry about right. So we're finally here, and we have so many like difficult decisions to make because the menu just looks so good. I don't remember it being this good last time because last time I was just like, ooh, baby, that like my favourite thing ever. Um, definitely get that again. But we're gonna get a few like tapasy bits as well just to try. Very excited. I've also never had a poke bowl. Oh, it is a sushi rice bowl. I think it's like Hawaiian. I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> you guys just look like deep in thought. I like, what do I get? Where did you get the noodles for the baby bath? I've only ever had baby bath and I love it. Like, it's just so good. Cheers. Oh my god, look at this kimchi salad. It looks incredible, doesn't it? Amazing. And spring rolls. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god, I live for bibimbap. Like, I feel like Korean is my new Thai and Japanese. I just, this is just so, oh, so good. We all got the same thing, it's incredible. Yes. Just like a big bowl of happiness. <laughs> Food was so good, and the lady that owns the restaurant was so cute, wasn't she? She was so sweet. So she had a whole nice. long chat with us. She was so so sweet, so adorable, and the food service was just incredible. How was your first bib and back, guys? It was so, so good. good. <laughs> first green so meal, good. so filling. It was very very good. Literally, yeah. Very very good. <sighs> We all have very similar tastes when it comes to food, so I kind of know what they're going to like and what they don't. So it is a little bit different because she doesn't like yeah. sauces and things. But you like the chili sauce, didn't you? Love the chili sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so good. But now we're here for a walk because we're doing some like touristy stuff. We're walking down O'Connell Street. We're going to walk across O'Connell Bridge. Go towards Temple Bar again, maybe. Possibly going to Henry Street. Just see where we like end up, and there's a whole load of people here, like waiting for some kind of coach or something, or watching me. So I want to go. <laughs> it is quite tall. This is the spire of Dublin, probably the shittest thing to do in Dublin that I told these guys about. I don't even know why this is actually on like TripAdvisor's like list of things to do, but we're gonna go see what's happening down here. Finally getting a new shirt of donut she's been craving one for ages. <laughs> wow. I used to see like queues like out the door for this place when I was last in Dublin. I haven't had a donut from here, but we're gonna get one to share and eat it later at the hotel. Oh the rolling donut, yeah. Oh and also this is the other branch of Pogue, the place that we went to for brunch yesterday, but this is not my favourite branch at all. This one in <laughs> oh it's really tiny, look at it. Oh my god, I so 
man, I miss this view so much. A bit of hey Penny Bridge. <laughs> we basically walked all the way down O'Connell Street, all the way up here, to my most favourite hotel ever in Dublin, the Morrison, and we're going to cross over to Temple Bar now. You take the girls out of London, but you can't take Tesco out of the girls. <laughs> We're a little tour of Dublin, and we came to buy some sweets. <laughs> Anusha, please tell the camera where we are. We are in Temple. <laughs> Temple Bar Inn. Temple Bar Inn. Um, she has been in before, and she managed to sneak. I'm basically snuffing to a hotel that Jas and I are snuffing to you And uh, this is. And so we've got a large one. And Alicia is just chilling. Chilling. <laughs> chilling. And I'm. I just was like, hey, get some free tea and coffee. They were like, oh, I was like, follow my lead. <laughs> Don't make a habit of this, kids. We just missed the Lewis by. Like, well, it was here, but we were yeah. buying our bloody tickets. 13 minutes to wait. It's kind of chilly as well, isn't it? Yeah. No, yeah. look at, I just love these two's makeup. I can't get over it. It's so and nice. guess who did it for us? She did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. But I just love that lipstick on you. She's very good at like overdrawing her lips slightly as well. I love it. <laughs> anyway, we are um, going towards Stevens Green, I think. Um, I don't really know that area very well, but we are hopefully going to find the Dean Hotel, possibly go to the rooftop and have some drinks at Sophie's. That's supposed to be like a really cool place. If not, there's a bar or a club called Dicey's. I hope it's a bar because club, you know, you know. Um, I'm young. We're just going to walk around, have a little mooch, and I'm see. Young, baby. <laughs> no. Dicey is a really crappy club. Um, as soon as we were like walking up, Sweden was like, this looks great ish. Um, I was like, I feel like a granny because it's like student night. And Usha was like, we're not going to get in. We queued up anyway. And there was about 15 guys in front of us. And all I heard was about saying, okay then, bye bye. And they just didn't have any ID. So we were like, I said, do you need ID to get in? He was like, yeah. The two of us have it, because like, everyone needs it. I was like, see you later. <laughs> but now we got to the Dean Hotel, um, somewhere I've never been before. We're at Sophie's on the roof, and this is about to order a drink. It's really cool, uh, it's actually very chilly right now. I'm not complaining, but these, you, you guys are quite cold, aren't you? It's a really cool rooftop. I just hope it doesn't close like, soon. Yeah. But it's so fancy. I think it's Oh, and you should look. Look, you're a mad ting. <laughs> but look, this is for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really dead. Oh, oh no. you float my boat. <laughs> Are you going to say that as well, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. You know I had to order an Aperol and encourage Serena to do the same thing. <laughs> Cheers. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> Serena! What are you doing? She made us buy sweets. <laughs> and who ate loads of sweets because she made us buy them and then opened them all up at the same time, shoved them I towards me, them. the person that doesn't even really eat sweets. And now look at her. Miss, I'm not hungry. Yeah. What do you have to say for yourself? I need sweets. Apologise to the sweets. <laughs> I mean, they are pretty good, not gonna lie. Rhubarb and custard. I mean, I don't do fizzies. Does there there's one, there's one. <laughs> Fizzy multicoloured belt, belt, okay. And we've got some bubblegum stuff. The bubblegum one's horrible. She is just like, how? Oh. On the sugar high maybe? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, we are now back in our hotel room in case you couldn't tell. And this girl is also terrible. 
I've been trying to tell them they should not use makeup wipes, but does anyone listen to me in this country? Yeah! <laughs> it doesn't remove your makeup. You yeah, what do you want me to do? Buy back a of water? Yeah. We're in Dublin. Cleanser. I don't have any cleanser. <laughs> <laughs> you spit on me. Oh, I need to go like wash my everything. <laughs> what cleanser do you have? Do that one. Anyway, got a pee, so bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't want the bigger one, I don't want the bigger one. She's so cute. <laughs> we all went to take off our makeup and put our pajamas on and she's basically just sliced up this donut into three, giving herself a huge proportion. And these are the little biscuits we stole from the other hotel that we were sat in. They're so good, they're lotus biscuits. Yum. <laughs> this is like dessert in bed, how adorable. Also, can you actually see her slice? Can we just... Take a moment. You also got like all the filling inside. <laughs> Yours is just, oh yeah, it actually does. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I don't want any more, so don't swap it. We just checked out of our hotel, got a cab, and we came to Code because it's like 3 pm and we had a late checkout for 4 pm, which is insane. Um, and this place shows the floor, so we had to have like, our last proper breakfast brunch meal here. It's our favourite. Um, these guys seem to love it as much as I do. And we had this like taxi driver who was like, I mean, I've been trying to explain to these two that like everyone in Ireland is super, super friendly and I love them all and they're like very chatty and the old men are really cute. And like, but all our cabins so far are just like, like really arsy or like, not Irish, do you know what I mean? And they're just like, whatever. And they're just like, ah, oh, there's nothing special. And now, Anusha is like obsessed with this guy. He was a little old man. He kept like beeping at us. Cause, like, there was like in traffic waving us like goodbye. We're like, it's like your dad dropping you off somewhere like, when you were younger. Or her age. Shout out to Fred and Anna Junior. We love you. What was that? Shout out to Fred and Anna Junior. We love you. He was just so cute and chatty. He was just like a really sweet old man. Like, he knew London. He told us all the best places to go, the best hotels. Like, like, instead of Shelburne, like, here's where to stay when it's cheaper. And he was just, he was just very typically Irish. But, like, we haven't experienced that properly yet on this trip. It's really, really weird. Whereas, me and Jas just experienced that the whole, like, three months we were here. So, it's been a bit weird. But, anyway, we need to order before the place closes. And it's a slightly different menu to yesterday. Because I think this is, like, their lunchtime menu. But most of the stuff is still the same. So, it looks good. I needed a coffee. This is our first Starbucks trip, this whole trip. And I ended up with two because they accidentally made two for me. And they actually let me keep it. I swear in London they'd be like, no, we're getting it. But now we have four drinks between three people. I know it looks like all we've been doing is eating and drinking today. We have been walking around, but now we're grabbing a really quick bite for dinner because we're rushing to get to the airport. But we've come to this place called Hang Dai Chinese. Um, I wanted to check it out last time, but we never got a chance. I love place is so cool and they have a whole vegetarian menu it's very exciting there's some merch as well like look at these asparagus spring rolls how cool do they look with kimchi hollandaise sauce salt and pepper tofu yes
French language. Incredible. Incredible. Food was amazing. Like we ordered basically all the veggie starters and the veggie noodles, and it was just like you just it was just the stuff that you wouldn't expect. Like the asparagus spring rolls, I liked these. I didn't really like them, but well, no, I liked them. They were the they were the best of the best bunch. Yeah, yeah, the worst of the best bunch. Yeah. Um, I just love asparagus and I just love green beans. The green beans were insane. insane. They were so good. So good. Oh. And the and noodles the were so ones. nice because it was like they weren't udon noodles, which we established that we both absolutely hate like fat noodles. And they weren't rice noodles, they were just like perfect egg noodles. But they had loads of like very finely shredded veg over the top. So you could say there was like more veg than noodles, but we all like love vegetables. Yeah. And so we were very happy with that. Very. So it was great. The decor was really good. It does look like we just eat all day. We have done other things as well, but I don't want to vlog too much because my vlog is super long. Now we just got back to our hotel lobby and we just crashed. There's a little old man playing the piano, which is very adorable. Very we've probably got about half an hour. I'm just going to get changed, I'm take off my contacts and stuff, and then just get an airport. No, get a taxi to the airport. <laughs> don't cry. No. It's so sad, isn't it? Oh, we love them. See you next week. So until next week, get your dad to the cousin Fiends concert again. Mm. What a legend. Like, look at this hotel lobby, actually. Oh, let me show you this hotel lobby. It is amazing. It's so grand. This little man there. Goes. This airport's so nice though, like it's so dead.